Hello, this is Reza Rad from Redacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between different scopes of filtering in Power BI, visual level filter, page level filter, and uh, report level filter. What is their differences and how to use it? In every visualization uh, tool, one of the requirements is that you can filter the data on a specific visual, on multiple visuals. Power BI is the same. If you want to apply filters on the data, uh, when you visualize it, there are uh, there is a section called Filters Pane. Previously, in earlier versions of Power BI Desktop, that section was, hidden, was under uh, visualization some area around here but uh, recently uh, it is a separate pane called filters pane in the filters pane you can apply filters in three different scopes visual level filter page level and uh, report level let's see how they are working when you click on a visual let's say I want to apply filter on this visual when I click on this visual I can see that uh, in the filters section, there are actually three different sections, filters on this visual, on this page, on all pages. Now, if I focus on this part, which is on this visual, I will see those fields that have used in the visual itself. This visual is showing sales amount by education, and I see sales amount and education. I can filter the data by any of these, like for example, I can select, do any filtering I want. Or alternatively, if the fields you want to filter is not here, you can actually drag and drop it into this section. Uh, for example, I can drag this gender uh, from there into here, and that would uh, give me a filter on gender, which I can specify. Any filter that I use here will be only applied in this visual only, not anything else, not other visuals. Now, what if I want to apply a visual, uh, a filter on multiple visuals, let's say on all visuals of this page. In that case, we don't apply visual level filter. We apply something called page level filter. And that is this section filters on this page. Uh, unlike the visual filter, this doesn't have any data fields uh, by default, unless you drag and drop something into here. Let's say, for example, I drag and drop gender into this section. And now if I filter anything by gender, it would filter anything in this page. All the visuals are getting filtered, but nothing in other pages. It only affect this page. That is what um, filters on this page means. And uh, one last scope of filtering is filter on all pages, which we call it report level filter. This will apply on all visuals in all pages, regardless of how many pages you have. You might have hundreds of pages and in each page you might have tens of visuals. It will filter all of them at once. Similar to other filters, you can just drag and drop and choose the item here. You can see that in this case, it is applying filter on all pages. So it, it is quite simple to filter it and uh, one common question I get a lot in my courses when I talk about filters is that um, how do we know what item got filtered because for example user might not see that this might be like uh, like not not expanded and they might not see it but they like to see what is filtered in this visual uh, users can hover on this filter icon on top of the visual and they will see all filters applied here no matter it is visual level filter, page level, or report level. They will see it here unless that filter is configured to be hidden, which I'll explain that in another video and another article. Otherwise, they would see it uh, that what is filtered on that specific visual. So filter is like that. It's quite simple to use. One last thing which I strongly recommend is that if you are applying visual, uh, visual level filter or page level filter, that's fine. But if you are applying filter on all pages, that means you are, for example, if I apply filter on all pages and I say, for example, I'm interested in, let's say I just put something here, for example, order date of fact internet sales. And I say, I want this to be in the last five years. If I apply something like that, um, that means I'm not using uh, 
any transactions which is not in this range never in any parts of my report everything is getting filtered by that right so when i apply a filter like this it is much better to apply this in the data source because still that part of data that is not filtered is sitting in memory power bi is in memory technology that part of data is still sitting in the memory it affects the performance it affects the size of the power bi report you can go to home tab transform data in the power query editor you can actually apply any filter you want here for example i can go to the same field order date and filter it here saying that is in the last for example in the previous five years or something like that this way i'm not loading extra data into power bi i'm filtering that out before loading into power bi it is very important if you are doing page um, like report level filter which is on all pages to consider an option like this to have a better performance I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you. Mm -hmm.